overview a bit around the call flow system. We will be doing other videos that you'll have access to in our help system that can go more in depth into each type of flow and each type of dial app that we have. But this is going to serve as a basic overview. So first of all, to access your call flow system and the call flows you have, you simply need to go to admin and flows. So what are call flows? Simply put, call flows tell the system what to do when one of your numbers is dialed. Uh, when you get to your call flow setup, you will see that there are there is the name that you give the flow, how many phone numbers are actually applied to this flow itself, uh, and you of course have the option to edit or create a call flow and edit and create an SMS flow. A call flow determines what happens when the number that you have pointed to this flow is called. An SMS flow tells us what to do when a number that you have pointed to this flow on is sent an SMS or MMS. So the, those are both needed and you can see here in most of these instances, we have both an edit we have a, a call flow and an SMS flow, which means we've created one of each. Where it says create, it means you don't actually have one. So in this one, we don't have anything. And in this one here, for instance, test two, we've got a call flow, but no SMS flow. That means we know what to do when the number is called, but we don't know what to do if someone sends a text. So it's really important when you're working on your system that you look at like this. Now, of course, as everything, you can simply get rid of a call flow uh, by clicking the delete button and it'll be gone forever from your system. And as you know, you're able to assign a phone, uh, phone number to a flow through the phone numbers setup, which we showed in other uh, videos. Now in this case, I'm just what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up both the call and the SMS just to give you a guidance of what's there. And then you can look at some of the other videos we have in our system to explore what each one means. If I want to look at a flow, I simply click Edit Call Flow. And now we have the start of the flow editor. And you have these distinct voice applets. And you can completely customize your call flow and the way smartphone works by using these uh, voice applets and combining them in different ways. So in this case, what we have is a simple dial applet. What does it, and we'll, again, like I said, we'll have other videos where we dive into each one of them. Um, but what we've done is when a call begins, what should we do? The first thing, what are we going to tell the system to do? And you can drag any one of these on um, to tell the system the first step. In this case, we've selected dial and we've selected the options here and we've selected what to do if nobody answers. Um, once all of those selections are made and everything is set up, that call flow is ready to be activated and we can click save and then cl close. The same is true for SMS. If we click edit, we will see that there is four different SMS applets. Each one of those can be combined to customize how SMS is managed. Again, inbound SMS is managed. And of course, we simply drop one of the applets on what when an SMS is received, what should we do? And this tells us what to do. And you can use any combination. So in other videos, uh, in this section, we're going to dive into what each of these applets means, um, and how they can be used. But that's an overview of the importance of call flows and SMS flows, they are critical, they are critical in order to be able to tell the number that you've associated with the flow, or numbers in this case, what to do when we're called, what to do when we're sent an SMS. Without this being completed, without these being filled in, the system will not know what to do. So call flows are a central part of smartphone and give you an enormous amount of flexibility and customization options.